Okay, Ayush, no problem. I understood. Uh, Rishikesh, sir, are you there? Rishikesh, sir, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, sir, uh, if you don't mind, could you please do me that favor of playing the video today as well? Okay. Are you busy or something? No, ma'am. Okay, fine. I'll give you the link. And because in between I need to, otherwise I have to send them to YouTube. audio <clears throat> That's why I thought I'll, okay, I'll send you the link. Okay, <clears throat> kindly turn on your video. Uh, those who have network issue, just inform to me. Mm, even my connectivity, I'll try switching it on. Let's see. Okay, just a second, sir. Just a second. I'll tell you when to switch it on. Just a second. Okay. All right, Ashutosh. All right, Rishigesh. Sai, you have got up just from the sleep? Good, good, uh, no, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another English. <laughs> okay, thanks. I have donation. Uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another English class. Hope you are doing good. Uh, and uh, today, um, I'm also facing kind of a network connectivity issue. Maybe it will go away. Yeah. So, uh, yes, today we are going to be uh, do the continuation of what we've been doing yesterday. We are going to listen to that conversation, the remaining part of that conversation. Uh, and that conversation say, I will ask you to do something new today as well. So please pay attention and please pay attention. Matlab, you need to know how you need to frame questions or ask questions whenever you are in a new place or whenever you are talking to a new person or a circumstance. So that is the idea behind it. So please listen it carefully and everybody should have a pen and a notebook with you. Sai, where is your pen and notebook? Can I see it? Okay, all I can see is your roof. So if you don't have, uh, take your pen and your book and uh, write it. Whenever you come across a new thing, because after that you need to do an exercise on your own. So make sure that you are noting it down. Okay, yeah. Now let's uh, listen to the remaining part of the video. Once you hear it, I'll tell you what to do. Okay, over to screen sharing. Rishikesh, sir. Conversation. Where did you learn to skate? Listen. Uh, sir, can you can take a little bit forward, sir? Uh, little bit forward. Oh, no, no, no. Little bit backward. Ah, uh, Udarsa, Udarsa. Yes, yes. It's fine from here. Okay, here it says that, just a second. Yeah, two immigrants. Now, what do you mean by immigrants? Somebody who is um, going from one country to another, their native will not be that country. They belong to some other country, but for time's sake, they are um, staying in that country. Okay, the people which doesn't have that citizenship or doesn't have that origin of that country, but coming from some other countries are known as immigrants. 
when we go to us we are known as immigrants all right when somebody come to india they are known as immigrants okay so an interview of an immigrant that is what we're going to listen today so i told you uh, as the heading says it's an interview and we all have to face interview at some point of time in our life beat our academic interview beat our job interview beat our selection interview we all have to face the interview panel once in a while in our life so it's always good to see how the flow of that interview question goes and what are the common terminologies and phrases that we can use whenever you answer an interview panel okay so you notice the way the interviewer is asking the questions and you especially notice the way uh, uh, the person or the immigrant answers their questions okay the common terminologies and words i want you to immediately write down write down the terminologies how they started each sentence and how they are framing each sentences all right yeah okay sir you can start grand to the united states where are they from hui where are you from originally hui i'm from vietnam from new hanoi and when did you move here i came here after i graduated from college that was in 1998 and what do you do now i work for a communications company i see so you're an immigrant to the united states that's right What are some of the difficulties of being an immigrant in the U.S.? Oh, that's not an easy question to answer. There are so many things, really. I guess one of the biggest difficulties is that I don't have any relatives here. I mean, I have a lot of friends, but that's not the same thing. In Vietnam, we visit relatives on holidays and weekends. It's not the same here. And what do you miss the most from home? Oh, that's easy. My mom's cooking. There are some great Vietnamese restaurants here, but it's not the same as my mother's cooking. Okay, that's an ad. All uh, right. Yeah. Uh, can you just uh, go a bit back, sir? Hui. So first, uh, we are seeing the interview of the person called Hui. He's from Vietnam, uh, Vietnam, Cambodia, uh, Laos. These all places you must have heard. These all lies together: Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, and all those things. Okay. So uh, this Vietnamese boy, his name is Hui. He has come to United States and he's getting interviewed. Uh, so let's see uh, what are the different things, easy questions is being asked, and how he frames it. a uh, quite simply but good sentences mm, yes okay you can stop uh rishikesh sir you can do one thing it's okay not to have that spotlight and you disable the annotators as well sir because uh, the spotlight and this thing comes not in the correct alignment so spotlight off karte to bhi chalega they are getting disturbed by this Thank you, sir. Yes, you can play it now. Interviews with two immigrants to the United States. Where are they from? Hui. Where are you from originally, Hui? I'm from Vietnam. from new hanoi and when did you move here i came here after i graduated from college that was in 1998 and what do you do now i work for a communications company i see so you're an immigrant to the united states that's right what are some of the difficulties of being an immigrant in the us oh that's not an easy question to answer there are so many things really I guess one of the biggest difficulties is that I don't have any relatives here. I mean, I have a lot of friends, but that's not the same thing. In Vietnam, we visit relatives on holidays and weekends. It's not the same here. And what do you miss the most from home? Oh, that's easy. My mom's cooking. There are some great Vietnamese restaurants here, but it's not the same as my mother's cooking.
Ahmed. Okay, okay, please stop. Sir. Okay, so let me ask you something. Uh, what are the different constructions uh, that you have come across? How to start up an interview? So what is the first question that lady asked Hui? What is the first question that the lady asked Hui? What is the first question? Strishigesh Rupe? Ma'am, where are you from? What is that? Where are you from? Okay. So where are you from is something that basically you can ask somebody if you are meeting for the first time and uh, you wanted to ask something and where are you? Where do you stay? Which is your native? It's a say acha hai. Where are you from? Okay. Get the better phrases. Where are you from? Helps you to answer your native. Where you've been born and brought up. Your citizenship, that country. Where are you from is basically where you belong to. Okay, and what is the next thing that he asked? Aish, you were raising your hand. Is your audio proper? I'm not able to hear me. Yes, maybe extra hearing, I guess. <laughs> yes, ma'am. But the, the question was, when did you move here? Okay. When did you move here? Okay, better. So when did you move here is another way of asking how long you've been staying here, okay? Or what exactly, What when exactly did you move here? So please write such question. First question ka tha? Where are you from? Second question, when did you move here? I hope you have written, Sai. Uh, if you just sit like that, how are you going to write your questions? Show me where are you yeah. writing? Two questions you've written better? No, ma'am. Write it fast. Ashutosh, write it. Where are you from? When did you move here? Where are you from? When did you move here? Rishikesh, don't sleep. What was the next question? Um, third question was, what do you do here? What do you do there? What do you do there or here? What do you do here? Okay. What do you do? Here? So what? Huh, what do you do here means? Uh, what are you currently up to? Okay. What do you do here? Maybe you're working, or are you a student? You're learning something. You're studying something. You're working somewhere. Apka current status bolna hai. Okay. So what do you do here? So what do you do is another easy way to ask somebody. Uh, what are they up to these days? What do you do here? Okay, write it. What do you do? What do you do here? Now, the next thing is uh, one of the things, what do you miss? It's not the next question, but one of the special things that you, what do you miss most from home? That is a construction that most of the people will fail to make it in the correct way. I, I, I don't want the answer. Okay, <laughs> answer is there. I'm trying to teach you the question formation and question construction. Sai, so switch on your switch off your mic. Okay, so when you want to ask someone, unka ghar ka kya sabse zyada miss karte? How will you put up that question? That is my question. Okay, how will you put up that question? I know most of you will not make it right. That is why. Ab kya ghar ke apka desh ka sabse siyada kya miss karte hai? What do you miss the most from home? Okay, so that from has to be there and most of you will miss it. So write the question as it is. What do you miss the most from home? What do you miss the most from home? 
there is a reason i'm asking you to write it all at the end your today's activity will be based on this so make sure that you are all you are getting all the questions right and you practice it okay what then she is asking one of the biggest challenges or biggest problem that she so one of the biggest that that phrase also you need to read tell me one of the biggest one of the agar aate hai to you have to always say the things in plural one of the biggest problems i have seen people making always mistake with this one of the problem nahi hai one of the problems okay one of the challenge nahi hai one of the challenges one of the mistake nahi hai one of the mistakes so whenever one of the is added with a phrase always make the set in plural one of the mistakes one of the challenges one of the uh, advantages whatever if you want to ask with one of the make sure that you are putting that thing in plural okay so one of the biggest difficulties that he faced not one of the biggest difficulty learn it write in big and underline that ies one of the difficulties likho and that difficulties ke andar and uh, niche underline karna hai first one of the difficulties underline it fast done today rameshwar hasan come no shantanu are you writing something beta pururva what about you ashutosh where did you disappear Ah, okay. Fine. So next, we are going to see a person getting interviewed. His name is Ahmed, and he's from Egypt. And you can also see the way he answers and the question she frames. So make sure that as you listen to the video, the second time you are writing down the question. This time I made you write, but next time you yourself has to write all the question. Sir, please place. Rishikesh sir, yes ma'am. Yeah, please play the video. Oh. Oh, oh, I remember the time. I'm from Vietnam, from Hanoi. And when did you move here? Can everybody see the video? Uh, ma'am, we will have to do it. Ma'am, we will have to do it. That we will have to do it a little bit. No, the exact point where we have stopped. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we need to come a bit back. Most for me from the time to take. Where are you from? Ah, okay. Yes, yes. And yeah. when did you move to the US? In 2005. Little more back, little more back, sir. From that slide, I. My mom. Ah yes, wo Ahmed slide sir. All days and weekend. Oh, that's easy. But it's not the same as. Where are you from, Ahmed? Five. Are you studying here at the moment? But it's not. Um. Uh, ah yes, sir. You there say. 
Where... Yeah, it is clear now. Maybe uh, uh, Ashutosh, maybe your connection's problem. Yeah. In 2005. Are you studying here at the moment? Not now. I moved here to attend college. And after I graduated, I got a job here. I'm working as an engineer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And what was it like when you first came here? Was it difficult? Yeah, it was at times. The biggest difficulty I had was with the educational system. Things are very different here. Teaching methods. Everything is very different from what I was used to in Egypt. And what do you miss the most from Egypt? My family and my friends. I try to go home often, but it's expensive to go back. I have some friends coming to visit next month, so I'm really looking forward to that. Perspectives. Sir, can you please play it once more? Just what we have heard just now. Okay, ma'am. How have you changed? Ahmed, where are you from, Ahmed? I'm from Egypt. And when did you move to the US? In 2005. Are you studying here at the moment? Not now. I moved here to attend college. And after I graduated, I got a job here. I'm working as an engineer. Uh huh. And what was it like when you first came here? Was it difficult? Yeah, it was at times. The biggest difficulty I had was with the educational system. Things are very different here. Teaching methods. Everything is very different from what I was used to in Egypt. And what do you miss the most from Egypt? My family and my friends. I try to go home often, but it's expensive to go back. I have some friends coming to visit next month, so I'm really looking forward to that. Perspectives. Okay, just a second. Uh, you can note down the questions. I hope you have noted it down. Okay, moving forward, I'm not going to explain each question again. Just listen to the perspectives as well. Okay. Perspectives meaning is your outlook towards something is known as perspective. I'll repeat, your outlook towards something is known as perspective. Matlab, how you see things. Ab kaise har cheez or har decisions or how situation may ab kaise apka attitude kaisa ho jayega apka outlook that's the best word your outlook towards her situation apka soch vichar aur apka ab kaise wo take karte that is called your perspective so when you want to ask somebody's perspective what kind of question construction you need to make that's what we're going to see okay so perspectives kisi ka janne ke liye हम कैसे तरीका सा क्वेश्चन उनसे पूछेंगे दैट इज वॉट वी गोना सी पे वेरी लिसन वेरी केयरफुली पे केयरफुल अटेंशन एंड राइट इट डाउन ओके एवरीबडी हैज टू राइट इट डाउन यस सर प्लीज प्ले इट When I was a kid, I used to be very... Ma'am, new one? Ah, yes. Ah, either say, yeah. Listen to these statements about changes. One. When I was a kid, I used to be very messy, but now I'm very neat. Two. I didn't used to collect anything, but now I do. I never used to play sports, but now I like to keep fit. Four. I never used to worry about money, but I do now. Five. I used to have a lot of hobbies, but now I don't have any free time. Six. I didn't used to follow politics. But now I check headlines online every day. Seven. 
When I was younger, I used to care a lot about my appearance. Now, I'm too busy to care how I look. Perspectives. Transportation services. Just a second, sir. Just a second. All right. So, in this perspectives part, we have seen the usage of the grammatical thing, or we can say it is a modal auxiliary as well, the word used to. Just write the heading in your notebook, used to, in inverted comma. Through chat, I have sent it. Used to. Usage of used to. Write the heading, everybody, in your notebook. Ashutosh, write it, Veta. Usage of used to. When will we use this used to? Used to, ab kab use karenge? I have heard people using used to in a very wrong manner. Hamesha har jagah pe, I used to do that, I used to do that. No. Listen carefully. Used to will be used only to mention some past habits or past activities. Likho essay, and those who have difficulty in writing, I'll give it through chat. Used to, others can write it along with my dictation. Used to is used to mention some past <clears throat> habits, hobbies, or activities. So used to, hum kya, kis ke saath use karenge? Whenever you want to say about some, aap bachpan mein aise kiya aur bohut saal se pehle aisa kar raha tha, lekin abhi nahi kar rahe. So bohut saale so, we will use used to. Okay? So, that is when we use used to. So, all these, we have seen six to seven sentences. And if you have noticed, you must have seen all those people, I used to play that, I used to collect that. I used to be very neat when I was a child. Now I'm kind of messy or opposite. I was very messy. What is messy? Football star messy? No. Messy means unorganized. The word meaning of messy is unorganized. Okay. So, that is the kind of usage of used to. So, I would like some of you to say some sentences with used to. Okay, so how will you make it? Earlier you were like this, but now you have changed. So let me hear some sentences. Let's start with Ashutosh. Construct a sentence with used to. So used to say mention karke bolo beta ek sentence. Ashutosh. And other people can chat it across to me. Instead of simply sitting in the class, do something. Those who have a sentence, chat it across. Ashutosh, please prepare and say it fast over the mic. Used to. Bachpin me, merko ye bohot pasan tha. Lekin abhi nahi. Or bachpin me, merko ye bohot pasan tha. Abhi merko ye pasan hai. Huh. And the other, okay, Rohit Raju has given me a sentence. Good. But, beta, Rohit Raju, uh, used to ka another specialty kya hai. When we use used to in the sentence, no. When you make a sentence and all, a context attach karke bolna hai. Context attach karke bolna hai matlab kya hai. See, for example, Rohit Raju has given me a sentence. I used to study in the morning. When? I used to study in the morning. Lekin abhi kya hua? Or kab ap morning mein study karta? I used to study in the morning when I was in 10th standard. Okay, something like that. It will give a more emphasis to the sentence. I used yes. to play harmonium. Shantanu. Good. But when? 
before my hands were broken <laughs> something like that so give, i never used to meditate but i do now wonderful okay i never used to meditate but now i do that is really good who said that sadakshigesh very good ashutosh beta are you ready to say one something uh, yes ma'am <laughs> pankaj very good i used to have long hair but now i have short hair wow okay shantanu bola sorry ashutosh bolo in my childhood uh, childhood days i used to play football but now uh, i can't play football you can't play football uh, can you make it a little more better do you like some other sports now abhi kyo aap football nahi khel rahe reason kya hai beta most of the people uh, my in my surroundings play cricket what beta most of the friends ah, i think ashut most of your friends are not there okay so you can say i used to play football a lot but not anymore okay something if you don't want to say the reason you can always replace with this phrase but not anymore what is that but not anymore okay uh, i have one more sentence here i i didn't used to like broccoli when i was younger but i love it now so i didn't used to like say acha hai beta aish suno i used to dislike broccoli okay that sounds a little more better i used to dislike broccoli when i was younger but i love it now yeah that sentence has little more smoothness in it i used to dislike broccoli when i was younger but but i love it now i used to play cricket but new nay now maybe now i can't play without my friends in lockdown fine i never used to keep handkerchief with me but now i keep it with me fine i used to play cricket but now i i i was busy study nahi hai beta i am busy abhi ka kaise bataungi i was bolte to wo bhi past ka ho jayega akash i'm talking to you uh. i used to play cricket but now i am busy in study okay understood agash fine shantanu i used to play cricket but now i can't play without my friends i used to play cricket but now i can't because of lockdown okay yes sir. without my friends in lockdown only friends is in lockdown aise sound kar rahe ho i used to draw a sketch but i don't have time for that now add now bhi fine so now you understood how to use used to so make sure that you are doing that as well let's hear the remaining part of the video rishikesh sir please play it continue yes sir okay listen to these comments about transportation services the buses are old and slow and they cause too much pollution in cities with less pollution people are healthier there are too many cars all the cars taxis and buses are a danger to bicyclists there is too much traffic There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. Listening. It is connected with the previous conversation sir, so you can continue playing it. Singapore solves it. Listen to a resident of Singapore talk about how his city has tried to solve its traffic problems. 
Singapore has done a lot to try to solve its traffic problems. For example, to drive into the downtown business district, motorists need to buy a special pass. They can go into the business district only if they have the pass on their windshield. Another thing Singapore has done is to make it more difficult to buy cars. People have to apply for a certificate before they can buy a car. Not everyone can get a certificate. There's a limited number of them. There's also a high tax on cars, so a new one costs a lot of money. A car can cost three or four times more in Singapore than in the US or Canada. The other thing Singapore has done is build an excellent public transportation system. Their subway system is one of the best in the world. And there's also a very good taxi and bus system. Conversation. Okay, sir, you can stop it. Yeah. All right. So we have uh, listened to everybody come back. Please listen. So we've been seeing the perspectives of transportation here. Okay. Hope you have seen transportation thing here. Where is Rishikesh? Where is Aditya? Where is Sai? Where is Ayush? Where is Pururva? Come back, everyone. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ashutosh. Okay. Yeah. So, so we were uh, seeing the different perspectives of transportation in different countries. And some people initially that a man and woman had a conversation like traffic. Nowadays, it's uh, no space for parking and it's too many cars on the road and it is too stuffy and all those things. Then suddenly, Singapore has the world's best, you know, less polluted and the clean and the beautiful city, Singapore. Okay. Uh, it is obviously beautiful. Okay. It's not just saying Singapore is the beautiful city. I got a chance to visit Singapore. Uh, I think almost 10 years back. So its city is really beautiful. And as it said, very less, uh, you know, like uh, private transport, public transport, they have given much importance. And the roads are like parks, okay? Public main road itself looks like park, okay? So it is very beautiful. So they were saying how Singapore manages to have such a beautiful and less traffic road. How they manage? They they are seeing so many things that Singapore follows. I'm going to play that video once again. And this time you need to notice it down quickly. Because at 12.15, I'm going to give you today's activity. In that activity, there will be two. No, Aish, not Bali. I'm sorry. Maybe Bali is cleanest, but Singapore is the most, world's most cleanest city that is in the record and less polluted. Bali is nowhere near it. Yeah, so what you need to do is, you need to note down all the points that Singapore, how they are maintaining it. I tell you why, because at the end of this today's class, the two activities I'm gonna give is, one is uh, to conduct an interview between two of you, and the next one is write or speak a short note on how Singapore maintains its traffic and how it manages to be a less polluted and beautiful city. So for that, I want you to hear through that conversation again, just one last time I'm giving, and then I'll give you the questions. So please listen to it. Rishikesh sir, kindly play it. Uh, you may have to come a little bit back, how Singapore maintains it with the Direct, I have to go on this Singapore topic, ma'am. I'll continue from here. Hello? Yes, sir. Sorry, I was on mute. And about transportation services. The buses are old and slow, and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. 
Listening. Singapore solves it. Listen to a resident of Singapore talk about how his city has tried to solve its traffic problems. Singapore has done a lot to try to solve its traffic problems. For example, to drive into the downtown business district, motorists need to buy a special pass. They can go into the business district only if they have the pass on their windshield. Another thing Singapore has done is to make it more difficult to buy cars. People have to apply for a certificate before they can buy a car. Not everyone can get a certificate. There's a limited number of them. There's also a high tax on cars, so a new one costs a lot of money. A car can cost three or four times more in Singapore than in the US or Canada. The other thing Singapore has done is build an excellent public transportation system. Their subway system is one of the best in the world. And there's also a very good taxi and bus system. Conversation. Okay. So I'm giving you some questions through chat. Please take it down. The first question I'm going to give you is, frame some questions, frame some questions to be asked, frame some question to be asked to one of your friends who has gone abroad for his who has gone abroad for his higher studies and has come back for a short vacation and has come back for a short vacation okay Frame some questions to be asked to one of your friends who has gone abroad for his higher studies and has come back for a short vacation. Matlab, you just imagine that you have met one of your friends. Uh, he must have gone to Canada or UK or somewhere, somewhere to, you know, have learned this uh, higher PG course. And he's back here in town for a month's vacation or something. And you are a person who wants to go abroad and who you are very curious to uh, know about the things over there or how he managed, just like how that lady interviewed the other person, you also want to know more about how he managed it over there. So frame some questions that you would like to ask him. Okay. So did everybody get it through chat? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, we should okay. have to write answers also of the, that question. No, sweetheart. Just frame questions. And after a while, I'll ask some person to ask the question and I'll select other person to answer it. So fingers crossed, you can be anyone, either the one who can ask or you can reply. So if, even if you want to reply, if you want to prepare that too, well and good. Okay, so frame questions. Aapne ek friend ko dekha, uh, wo Canada mein higher studies ke liye gaya or one month vacation ke liye abhi so you are so excited you are asking about his course how he managed in canada is he working uh, when is he going back is it really good is it difficult can i also come how many questions you want to ask him regarding that but it should make sense okay in the correct english frame it frame it fast who is tripti i can see a student called tripti is it somebody's parents' name?
study of abroad okay so first i would like to correct it from here study of abroad nahi bolte beta how is it like studying abroad okay this is for rohit raju i yes, will yeah how is it like studying abroad wo same meaning aata hai lekin construction aisa hai how is it like studying abroad okay so bahar study karta hai wo kaisa lagta hai aapko that is what you want to like no so how is it like studying abroad okay yes. so always rephrase the questions like that and i have put one more question in the chat hope you have seen it dictate a short summary on how singapore manages to be one of the less traffic polluted cities in the world all right so who can give a short speech i know obviously some people's mics are not working but whoever can take up that question this is an or question those who are doing the first question doesn't have to do the second question okay those who are doing the second question doesn't have to do the first question i want all of you to write both these questions in notebook under today's date i as i always tell you when i meet you in the academy i want every day's notes date wise okay there is no compromise in that factor so today's date mein ye sab hona hai aaj ka do question and till now i have made sure that every day i have given exercises based on that chapter in the last 15 minutes not even one day was missed so i want to see all those exercises and question answers written on your note neatly so today's exercise hai these two questions please take it down whether you could write the answer now or answer later not an issue make sure that all these questions today do question hai wo question aapka note mein hona hi padega okay take it down Ma'am, I have completed the first question. Okay. Are you ready to say it? Uh, yes, ma'am. All right. You can select any one whom you think that can answer your questions from the group. ंग Yeah, start Rishigesh. Ashutosh will answer. So Rishigesh is the friend who is there in India, and Ashutosh is the friend who has gone abroad and come back for the vacation. Let's start. Rishigesh. 
Hello, how are you? I am fine, and how are you? I am absolutely fine. Why you went to abroad for your higher studies? Sorry, repeat, please, Rishkesh. Why you went to abroad for your higher studies? Ashutosh, Rishikesh is asking, why you went outside? You didn't go to any colleges, you didn't go outside for higher studies. Why did you go out? So you can say some good points about studying abroad. Ashutosh, yeah, continue. Uh, there will be good study. Uh, is that place have really good education system? Uh, yes. When you are going back for your further studies? Sorry? Repeat. When you are going back for your further studies? Ashutosh? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Ab kap wapas jane wale. So just say any date after one month or one week or something. After one month. Okay. Uh, is there is any better place for staying or at or at hostel? Yes. When you are migrated from from here to abroad, did you find did you face some problems? If yes, which which were they? Do you? Mm. Yes, language problem is there. Okay. Um, if someone wants to come for my uh, for their further studies, can they found hostel with mess? As in a residential area? Yes. Okay. Ma'am, it's not question. Okay, fine. Uh, appreciate both of you. I'll just correct uh, certain things that uh, Ashutosh uh, asked me. Throw us a question, may I correct it? Read out the first question better. Uh, sorry, Ashutosh, uh, Rishikesh? Yes, ma'am. How hmm. are you? A second. Why you went to abroad for your further ah, studies? Ah, first thing, correction. Why you went to abroad? We don't say abroad. We don't need a proposition in front of abroad. Why you went abroad for your further studies? What is it? Why you went to abroad? Why you went abroad for your higher studies? Yes. Why you went abroad? Third, next question. Um, is that place has a good education system? Is the education system over there better is the education system over there better okay next okay, uh, when you are going back for your further studies ha hamesha this is the mistake i want to tell everyone placing of auxiliary verb when you are nahi when are you maine kya bola beta hum framing question se idhar tak aaye na framing questions ka structure kya hai wh word ke baad immediately which word has to come ashuto uh, rishikesh auxiliary verb pronoun nahi hai when you are going back hai to wo question nahi hai wo reported speech jaise lagta hai so if you want to ask a question pehle wh word wh word ke baad immediately after wh word which word has to come auxiliary verb so how will auxiliary be the question verb. so how will be the question when when are you going back ha when are you going back always you guys make this mistake when you are going back when you are coming when you are doing that no when are you when are you okay yes ma'am yeah next is there is better place for staying or hostel usme bahut khadbad hai is there a better place for staying in a hostel I don't know what you tried to ask. Maybe you tried to ask, is there a better place to stay? What yes, kind of stays are available there? Okay, what kind of stays are available there? Is it room-based or 
or do we have do will we get a hostel something like that you need to ask okay, okay beta yeah anything uh, else ma'am yeah, ma'am two questions are in there uh, ah, when hold. you are when you when you migrated from here to abroad did you did you face some problems if yes which were those ha huh. again to abroad to the abroad aaya wo to cancel karna hai as i said before when you move from here uh did you face any problem while reaching there if so which are those hai na okay i appreciate the things that you have said i think that's it um uh, i want all of you to complete these both these exercises tomorrow um, uh, i have one more be... question yes beta uh if i want to come there for my further studies can i found can i find the hostel with mess ha huh, yes so aapko udhar pathane ke liye aane ke liye sabse important mess my god what is that ha sabse important mess ke bare mein nahi hai beta wo procedure janna hai pehle hai na so that should be the primary question you would be asking if i i would also like to come abroad and do my further studies if so what are the procedures i need to follow whom should i contact okay what are the different steps i need to take aise questions puchna hai okay ma'am okay food and mess and all comes after that first of all if you want to go you need to know what are the procedures or whom to whom to contact and what ways you need to take to move about yes ma'am okay so include that kind of question and all those who are sitting in this class tomorrow first thing in the class what i'm going to do is i'm going to ask everyone in the class regarding this two assignments those who haven't had that please i'll get the questions again if you want to take a screenshot go and take a screenshot from chat this has to be completed tomorrow when you come these two questions okay take a screenshot make sure that you are writing it as a homework those who are finished first write the second first thing in the class tomorrow that would what that is what i'm going to ask all right everyone okay that's it see you tomorrow please don't forget to do your homework okay that's it bye everyone bye thank you ma'am thank you ma'am hello sir